students were taught to anticipate and think like the enemy. What distinguished Ricondo School from any other school in the history of the American military was the third week. The last week of the school, um, we, we did a, a live mission, and what that meant, live mission, was um, they would put us on teams with two Special Forces instructors, and then we, they would insert us in a known enemy area, and then we would perform a mission. They wanted to test us under fire, if you will, and actually... Uh it was condensed. They taught everything live fire. We, we did, um, we called in artillery, live fire artillery. We called in gunships, uh, live fire. We uh, uh, bring back a prisoner had priority because a prisoner could offer you or uh, an enemy soldier could offer you some intelligence and information that you couldn't get from a, uh, from a, a dead body. I get the gun to the man behind me. A man was backing me up and I hid on the trail. The man on the radio would call and tell me when it's coming. I jumped on the prisoner and I grabbed them just in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Your best um, uh, source of information is a live prisoner, you know, and it's no fun shooting anybody anyway, really. So I just, I had my rifle and I looked at this guy and I went, and I just went down like that and I put my hat like it was a helmet right on his chest and I nailed him to the ground and it shocked him so much he couldn't believe it. We got where well, we would even double team them. I'd hit them low, he'd hit them high. If it's just one man, if it's two, it's one man apiece. It was just, just two.